Hello, this is Scott. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, um, where I cover a variety of different analytic and data science topics, anything from open discussions um, to platforms, and those can be commercial and open source platforms. Today, we're going to be talking about an open source platform called R, um, and we're continuing on with the series, specifically a financial time series. Um, set of videos. Today we're talking about GARCH, which is a mouthful, the Generalized Autoregressive Conditional Heteroscedasticity uh, model, a financial model, in which we focus on trying to predict the, um, pick up the signal rather than the, the volatility, really, is what is important here. Um, this is actually created by a guy that ended up um, getting the Nobel uh, Peace Prize for Economics. And so um, I'll let you do your research on your own. Last time we kind of went through the AT&T stock price data and using um, a variety of different plots and uh, extensible time series uh, models. Uh, and we use the quant mod procedure to do that. And then we set up at the end, we set up this data, um, AT&T closed data. And so now we're gonna start with GARCH modeling. Um, and again, here the note is that it, we're not trying to fit the signal better, but we're trying to fit the volatility better in the end. And we're gonna use this uh, package called uh, RU GARCH or Rue Garch, um, and this is the the actual uh, information from from Cran on the package itself. Um, I think it was last updated. Looks like August of 2017, so a couple of years ago, a year and a half ago. Um, and there's some in interesting, useful information uh, here for for the actual package. Um, so let's get into it and uh, load that. And then the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're going to specify um, the the model itself. So we're gonna create this uh, AT&T spec. And uh, let me just go ahead and do that. And then, uh, so we're actually using a student's uh, T distribution, STD is the specification uh, for that, and then here we're actually going to fit this um, model into AT&T GARCH, right? So if we look at AT&T GARCH, here's what we get, and um, up here towards the top, here is are the optimal parameters list for this model. Um, we're going to be, and then here's the Akaiki uh, and Bayes information criterion and some other statistics as well. We're actually gonna be fitting several models and comparing those statistics against each other. Um, uh, and so let's let's look at that. The, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, plot and I've got a little note in here this is an S4 object, um, and this model, excuse me, follows some information provided by Landers. And let me uh, plot that. So I'm actually plotting the residuals here. Remember, this series is a pretty long one. I think it goes from 2007 to January 2019. Um, and then I'm going to plot the, uh, um, the, the standardized residuals, the autocorrelation function. Uh, here, so we can we can see that everything's pretty much within bounds, maybe this one point, um, but we're not going to concern ourselves with that. Now we're going to what we're going to do is we're actually going to fit four different models that we're going to start with an ARMA one one, um, and uh, we get the information on 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 that model, and we're just going to go ahead and let me just fit these others. I'm going to fit a zero zero. Um, 
I'm going to fit a 0, 2, and then a 1, 2. And then I'm going to um, actually fit those, those are specification for the models, and now I'm going to actually fit, fit the models themselves, all four of those. And then I'm going to look at the information criteria. And um, so here I have a Kaiki information criteria 0.9, Bayes information criteria 0.9. So let me do that. That was for the first model, which was the 1-1. One, one. Now I'm going to do it for the 0-0. Zero, zero. Um, so the information criteria went up. That's not what we want. Um, for the 0 2, it's actually higher as well. So model number one is still in the lead. And then uh, model four, we get something pretty pretty close um, to the original model. So model four was a 1 2. So either 1 1 or 1 2 uh, models look, look pretty good here. So then I'm going to um, actually. Uh, do a number number ahead, 50, 50 ahead, and I'm going to plot and see what that looks like. And here's kind of an interesting uh, plot for that information, for that data. Um, and I can see the the uh, air bands right for for this bootstrap method. The red being the actual forecast, and the uh, Squiggly line here, the black line being the actual bootstrap, and then the, the bounds, so you can play with this um, as well. So just to note, um, this this model that we we just uh, plotted here, this was at um, AT and T. This was on the ATT guards, which was actually this is a one one. So this is an ARMA one one that we actually used. Um, and it was the, the, the first plot. So um, the other thing that we might want to consider is doing a log and look at the, the, the log of the close uh, price. So if I do that and actually specify that, that out, um, Well, <laughs> that, that took a lot of space actually for, I mean, that, that's quite a long, long series there. So um, I might want to not do that. Um, and then build a specification based upon that, that log, right? So, um, and then once I've built a model, I can actually fit the model to that, just like we did before. Um, and then look at the information criteria in here. So we went from 0.9 on the previous to a negative six on both the AIC and BIC. So quite a bit of drop, that's what we want, uh, a negative number. So the log is even better. And then of course I could come back and I could um, uh, create a prediction and plot for those as well. Might be interesting as well. Again, one of the things that's kind of slippery about these models, and we're, we're actually trying to uh, better quantify and model the the, very, the volatility rather than the actual signal. So um, thank you very much for attending this one, and we'll pick up with uh, another hands-on demo before too long. Thanks.